Hey guys, it's Angel Debs, and today I'm just going to rant about bullying. Bullying should not be accepted in schools, high school, work, outside work, outside school, nowhere. Ten years ago, I started high school, and I still think about bullying today. Why? Because I've been having so many nightmares of being bullied, and I just can't get back to sleep. And also, a few months ago, I just found out I got bullied in a high school toilet. I was doing my business in the toilet, you know, peeing or pooing, and people look over my cubicle, two girls, and they film what I'm doing. Why do you film somebody who does that in the toilet? Really? I come out of my cubicle, have no idea what just happened. They come out of their own cubicles. They have the most evil smiles on their face. I see nothing, they see nothing, I walk away, and I still don't know what happened. Until a few months ago, you filmed me doing my business on the toilet. Why did you dirty think of that? Oh, whatever you did with that video, I hope it's not on the internet and it's deleted from your phone. I know who you are, so please, I'm just asking you for to delete it. Because I've been thinking so many ways I could have just stopped it if I knew what you were doing. It's not a nice feeling at all. I can just list that in the ways that I was bullied. I was bullied so many ways, not just by these girls, but by a small boy with his gang and by some of my classmates. It was not a nice feeling at all. And I'm just going to tell you right now all the ways I was bullied. I was bullied by this little boy who was basically in all my classes. He didn't just bully me every day. He bullied me in every single class I was in. I had six classes a day. He was in four of them a day. Oh my goodness. He bullied me by shouting at me by locking me in three PE closets, one, two, three. In one of the PE closets, I somehow ended up in a wheelchair for a few minutes. I tried to tell the head teacher. Turns out he just bullied me the next day. It didn't stop him there. He bullied me by taking my dresser away. I couldn't do work for five minutes. Why did he bully me? I have no idea why. Maybe he thought I had, maybe he thought I had a crush on him. I did not, excuse me, you are small, tiny, you have no respect for me or for any girl. If I see him, I just want a restraining order from him. He was not a nice boy at all. I hated it. I couldn't walk home alone. He would make me cry on the way home, even if I was walking or cycling. He would just make me cry. I couldn't walk home alone, not even with friends. It was disgusting. He even found out where I lived and tried to tell my mom, oh, she's the one that bullies me. Uh, excuse me, my mom doesn't scare me. Why try and do that? He even tried knocking my door so many times. I had to call the police to stop that. And thank goodness all him and his bullies just left. Like, after fourth year. I could do whatever I want in fifth year and sixth year. I didn't feel bullied at all. I'm so glad it stopped there. But I wish I stopped earlier. I wish I told my teachers so much more the ways I got bullied. And I'm really saying it now in a video. When you get bullied, you feel so much hate. Because you don't know how you got bullied. You hashtag hate yourself. You don't like your body. You don't like the school you're in. You just want to be homeschooled. You just want to run away. This is what you feel when you're in high school. When you get bullied. It's not a nice feeling at all. After this video, I just want to cry. And that's what I did so many times after I got bullied. It was not a nice feeling at all. I just hated the way I got bullied. Bullying should not be accepted in school at all. Because look what just happened to me. Ten years ago, I ranted about bullying. I should have ranted about it so much more in high school. So it was stop early. I can't believe I was bullied. And I still don't know why I was bullied today. If you're a bully, please stop it now. Because someone's going to get hurt. They can actually kill themselves. The bully or the other person. Someone's going to get hurt. And it's just not a nice feeling at all. Seriously. Bullying is disgusting. Stop it now. And if you're not the bully, because you're the person who's getting bullied, tell somebody. Don't just wait a few months. Tell somebody to be saved. The way I got saved by being stopped being bullied was telling a teacher, not every time, but just a few times. And then years later, they take me from my English intermediate class to a lower 
English class <laughs> didn't really help my education, but I was safe. I was protected, kind of. You need to protect yourself, and you need to hashtag love yourself. And the only way you can do that is stop bullying now. Stop getting bullied right now. It's just disgusting. If you're getting bullied, tell somebody. If you're the bully yourself, figure that out and get some help. Stop it. Or else you're just gonna get someone hurt. And I just feel hurt just talking about it. It's just not a nice feeling. <sighs> High school needs to feel great and not scared and not, you know, terrible. Right now, I'm gonna stop the video here because I've been ranting a lot about bullying. It's just been not a nice to think of. I just gotta stop. All I can say is right now, whatever YouTuber says at the end of a video, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. This has been Danger Debs. Stop bullying now. Look what you did to me. I've been bullied, and it's not been a nice feeling thinking about it. I just listed every way I got bullied and just put it out there. Thanks for protecting me. But it's not helped. Because I've been thinking in a lot of the ways I got bullied. Stop bullying now. Or else you could be like me one day. Hashtag love yourself. That's an important thing.